Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of history, we shall discuss the topic called Stone Age. So why it is called Stone Age? Because the human being he used stones first. Later he has used metal tools to, for various purposes. But first he used to use stones only. So that's why it is called as Stone Age. So we have seen the actual history of India or the world starts with the Stone Age. So it begins from 2 million BC, around to approximately 2 million BC. 1 million is 10 lakhs, that is 20 lakhs BC. 20 lakhs years before the birth of the Christ. Now we are 2018, that means 2018 years after the birth of the Christ, that is we are in Anno Domini AD, in the common era, right? So moving on to Stone Age. So Stone Age, why it is called Stone Age? Because the basic element or the tool which were used by the Homo sapiens, that is human beings, was a stone. That's why it is called as Stone Age. Later, the, some metals are were used like bronze, copper, iron, like that. They were used later after the stone. So first is Stone Age. And the Stone Age is particularly divided into three sections. The first is Paleolithic, next is Mesolithic, and next is Neolithic. So how they are classified? Paleolithic means it is also called as Old Stone Age. So it is from 2 million BC to 10,000 BC. Next is Mesolithic or Middle Stone Age. It is from 5,500, sorry, 10,000 BC to 5,500 BC. Next is Neolithic Age. It is also called as New Stone Age. And the time period is 5500 to 2500 BC. So we can say from 2 million BC to 2500 BC is the total timeline of the Stone Age. It is derived into Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic. Moving on to first the first stage of the Stone Age that is Paleolithic period. So why it is called Paleolithic? It is derived from the Greek words Paleos. Paleos means old and Lithos or Lithikos means stone. So that means old Stone Age, particularly the first Stone Age, okay, the, primi the primitive Stone Age. So what are the basic features of the Paleolithic period? So during the Paleolithic period, the human being was particularly hunter of different animals. So for food, he has to hunt okay to gather food particularly he was a food gatherer so a hunter as well as why he was doing hunting because of food gathering purposes okay later he has developed the usage of fire how to produce fire okay by rubbing of two stones so he developed fire okay so particularly the human being was hunter for the purpose of gathering food in the paleolithic period and he has developed some stone tools to hunt okay so he has developed some stone tools so he has used his knowledge or brain to develop some tools made of stone okay next period is mesolithic the middle period of the stone age the why it is called mesolithic so it is derived from a greek words mesos means middle and lithos or lithikos means stone so middle stone period is nothing but mesolithic uh, what are the features of the mesolithic period so what is the timeline of me mesolithic period the timeline is from 10000 bc to 5500 bc is the timeline of the mesolithic period okay what are the features of mesolithic period the features are first he used to be hunter in paleolithic period then he slowly started to do farming okay he has developed some farming communities how to farm some various crops later he has earlier he used to gather food now he started producing food by learning food producing mechanism that is farming mechanisms next he used to draw and paint some on some stones walls etc okay he used to do that next he has developed the sharpening of the stone tools which we has used in the paleolithic period so first he has used some stone tools and he had sharpened these stone tools in the middle age period that is mesolithic period and he used to live in some small communities earlier he used to wander here and there now he has learned 
to live in small communities. So what are the drastic changes? The first is to develop farming or food producing mechanisms to prepare his own food. Next sharpening of his tools, drawing and painting and to live in small communities. These are the specific features of Mesolithic period. Next is Neolithic period, the last stone age period. So Neo means new, Lithos means stone. So new stone age period, it dates back from 5500 BC to 2500 BC. Okay, the last stone age. Next, what are the features of the Neolithic man or how he has developed from various stages after the Paleolithic, Mesolithic and then Neolithic. So later he has started the domestic first he has he was gathering food through hunting then he has developed farming production mechanism next he has started domestication of various animals cows horses etc so why he has done for the various food generation productions as well as to develop some business activities suppose he gives some milk so he can get some other things from other people the barter system Next, he has developed the way, the important invention that is the wheel. Okay, because of the invention of wheel, there were drastic changes. Okay, he used to have bullock carts or chariots, etc., in the Neolithic age. Okay, and the next is the various tools after the Neolithic stage. Various tools like bronze, iron, copper tools were used in the after the Neolithic age. And he has started farming production mechanisms of wheat, barley. Later after that he has started rice. All these were done with the entry of the Neolithic period only. Okay, so what are the drastic features of the Neolithic? The first is invention of wheel. That is the wheel has given a lot of change in the Neolithic man. Okay, he made his own chariot or bullock carts or horse carts etc later he has started the domestication of cows horses etc for poultry purposes and dairy purposes later he has uh, developed the sharpen the sharpening the tools which he have used in the paleolithic and mesolithic periods okay so hope these features you have learned perfectly these are the basic difference between paleolithic mesolithic and neolithic periods Okay, so this is all for this session. We shall meet in the next sessions. Thank you.